In the year 1949, 5th of October, a woman called Mama Deborah Adeyonyi Alaria Dibu delivered a baby boy to the compound of Balogun Ifeodon, or your state. In the family of late pa Benjamin Ogunwobi Adigun, Omo Ogundokwebi, the name of the boy is Jacob Olakujo Adigun. Ifeodo is 22.5 kilometers from Oyo town, a mainly agrarian settlement founded by a reigning Oni of Ife. His Royal Majesty, Oba Olaoguru Olubushi I, over 200 years ago. This town, Ifeodo, are mainly Christians of Anglican denomination. However, others are like Baptist, Roman Catholic, Aladura, etc. Mr. Jacob Olakojo Adigun was baptized on the eighth day of his birth, where he was christened as Jacob. When Mr. Adigun grew up to know the name Jacob, he cherished the name because it was highly connected with the patriarch of the children of Israel, the favored race that makes him see himself as a spiritual Israelite. His early years, from zero to 12, were spent with his parents at Ifeodon and Ajawa, where his holidays were spent with his maternal grandparents, Mama Olakwemo and Adekwoju of Ile Baboloshun. In the year 1955, free primary education program started by the great visionary premier of the old western region, Chief Obafeni Awolo. Mr. Adigun was part of the people who enjoyed this privilege. He started his primary education at St. Peter's Anglican School, Ifeodun, the very year free primary education took off. The year 1960 was a joyful year in Nigeria, the Independence Day celebration of our great country, Nigeria. Mr. Adigun was in primary school then where pupils were served with plenty of rice and beef. Nigeria's green-white-green flag were given to everybody for the celebration of the colorful location in the whole Nigeria. Thereafter, Mr. Digun Jacob got his primary school leaving certificate examination in 1961 with distinction in all subjects. He later proceeded to Oranya Grammar School, Oyo, in 1963 to 1968, where he got his West African School Certificate, Baptist Boys High School at Belkuta in 1970 to 1971, University of Ibadan, undergraduate days, where he backed BSc Honorary in Geography between 1973 to 1976, University of Ibadan in the year 1982 to 1983, where he got his master's degree in geography, urban. University of Eloring, 1992 to 1994, where he got his PGDE. In the year 1977, Mr. Adigo went to an occasion, a marriage ceremony to be precise, at Mapo Hall, Ibadan, or your state, where many marriages were done. A beautiful lady was in attendance at another wedding. Mr. Digun took his bravery and called her young lady. Come here. That was Miss Fumilayo Adenike Amodu Agwike. She did not give him attention, but her friend assured Mr. Digun of how he will have a date with her. We were there at the Mapo Hall, and incidentally at that time, there will be so many weddings, so it will be in tongues because it's like the registry. So when it was the turn of our home wedding, I couldn't find that my friend in person of GBK. So I had to run around here and there. And lo and behold, I just saw her far off. As I was about to go and call her, then I heard a voice that said, beautiful lady, come over here. I said, what? I just took a break like that of Shego Debuamikwe. Who? My aunt should be saying, beautiful girl, come here. Myself? I just turned back. I refused to answer the call. I returned. When I got to the place, that my friend was calling me. For me, she we are here to come. I said, if you like, where's I come? I had a voice. Oh, I, I can't contain it. So we went for the wedding. They later came together and discussed. Then she fell in love. 
Their courtship was not longer than a year. Ms. Fumilayo introduced her fiancé to the family at around November 1978. They took their oath of wedding matrimony in the year 1979, February the 10th to be precise. God blessed this marriage with children and even grandchildren. Mr. Digon is a man of God who gave his life to Christ in the year 1988. He belongs to different group of religious organizations such as member Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship International. He was pioneer of this group in all your chapter. Daddy loves God so much. He's the type that will always uh, wake us up very early. Daddy has to, anytime Daddy is around, can be sure that we will not miss our early morning devotion. Daddy is a godly man and a God fearing He loves God. He loves the man. He's a religious man. And um, he, does, he doesn't uh, take prayer for granted. He's real, he's gentle, he's kind, he's God fearing. He's a very religious man. He doesn't joke on his religion. He's very close to God. Everything he does, he commits it into the hand of God. Every time I go to a new teacher of the word of God, very early in the morning at before, and anytime before going to bed, he encourages us with the word of God. He is well known as a good man in the community and he belongs to Efield on Progressive Union. Club 5, a club set up to see to the development of his hometown, Efield. He was chairman of Anjori Ohu Estate, Ladigolu Community, for four years. Chairman SBMC FGGC Oyo for four years. Mr. Digon served this great nation, Nigeria, meritoriously without blemish. In the year 1977 to 1991, he worked at the Federal Government Girls College, Oyo, where he occupied the position of Form Teacher, HOD Geography Economics, PTA Secretary for over 12 years, Staff Secretary for over 12 years, Officer in Charge of Landscaping, member FGGC or your staff school committee. In the year 1991 to 2003, he worked at School for the Gifted and Talented Students, Suleja, Niger State. I was transferred to Suleja Academy. I hope you know that he's a gifted teacher. So he was transferred to be with the gifted children. I think it was recommended at that time to be posted to Suleja Academy. So every time daddy travels, I was always traveling with him and my brother too was, myself and my brother were with my daddy in Sulija. The rest of my sisters, they were with my mommy in Oyo. So that time we used to travel a lot and I didn't like to travel because I didn't like the smell of the fuel. But my daddy would always encourage me, he always tell me, Olami Day, don't worry, we have to just travel, we have to go, we have to leave our comfort zone. Because if you, we want to amount to anything, we just have to give our comfort. So we always encourage us. And then when we are traveling, one thing I notice about him is he, he is a lover of nature. When he sees the eels, he likes to explain things. So anything he sees, he will just be worshiping God. If that thing amazes him or something, he's just like, ah, oh God, you are powerful and all that. I remember the moment when I was sitting at Sulegia um, Academy. I remember most Saturdays go to my chair markets. I would go and buy the we buy the um buy the head of head of the car or something like that. And then we go that course and then we want to say I'm a shiny. And that's the word my dad the word my dad uses. I'm a shiny. I'm a shiny. And then we get some we use like three or four pots to to prepare the prepare the mix and I they don't say that I can't call that bad. My, myself and my dad, we love me so much. He was later posted to Bainwe Federal Government College, Vandekia, where he occupied the position of Vice Principal, 2003 to 2005, Acting Principal, 2005 to 2006, Chairman, Staff School Management Committee, Coordinator, Students Fellowship Worship, Member, Senior Staff Management Committee, he then proceeded to serve Federal Inspectorate Service, Ondo State, Federal Coordinating Inspector as the Deputy Director. 
He was member Subeb Ondo State, representative of FME till October 2009. After mandatory age of 60 years, he retired in the year 2009. His year of service had been quite meritorious and rewarding without blemish. Glory to God Almighty. Based on humanity and integrity of service years and tour of Mr. Adigun, many students and staff, teaching and non-teaching, have had a touch of hard work, integrity and love for their progress and well-being. Ten years after his retirement, many students and officers are still in contact with him, expressing their appreciation of his touch in their lives. So thank God for the life of my husband, especially at this period that is now 70 years old. I thank God on his behalf to repay our money. In fact, I took care of all the work we were going. We told him we pay all his life. Some of us, I want to take by the year they will be either for him or my mother. Maybe we have fun on it be rice before. I have fun on it be a day. 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 My dad loves good food. He will tell us when we the village, ah, Baba Miyami, our own Jagidi will get fresh things from the farm and all of that. And then I, when he tells us stories, I'll just be looking at him. Mr. Digo is a disciplinarian that does not like waste. He loves God and puts God first in his lifestyle. Happy birthday, Mr. Jacob Olakujo Adigo, wishing you long life and prosperity. Happy birthday, Daddy. God bless you. I love you. We will live to celebrate 80 years with him, 90 years on and century in Jesus' name. Pray that we celebrate more of it on the land of the living. I pray we celebrate 80, we celebrate 90 and 100 and more of it on the land of the living. That we celebrate the 70th birthday today, we will need to celebrate many more of it. As the spring used to fall in Lapu Land, Ajawa, Badugu, Hepuri, Riri, Henepe, Henya Dagba, who did the very first one job. I don't know what to do. 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 Amma 
Praise the Lord. We want to give God all the glory, honor, adoration, and praise for this day. I want to thank God for being with me all these years, 70 years ago, as recorded by my dad in the Bab Day certificate. He said the child was born in his mother's room. Nidi de Agugu Mary, October 5, 1949. You see, the joy of it all is that God preserved me. 70 years ago in my hometown, if you know, there was no hospital. So you can imagine somebody born in, in the mother's room. God has always been my uh, preserver. He's been preserving me. And today, I want to thank him for those far. I want to say, Baba, thank you. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Le akoko yi mu fe ki gbugbo awon eniyan ti won ti gbaruku ti wa awon omo mi awon oko won ati aya won gbugbo won won ni da amo gbodo seye fun baba o olorun to fi si won lokan ti won si ti bibi se ohun gbugbo won ti nawo won ti nara akoko o gbadura lo ko Jesu Christi are you a woman when you go? I saw when the party won, it became nationalist. I want more when I was she to Dubai in the fall. They will grow whole, they will grow in good health. God will promote them, God will honor them. I can't thank God enough for these children. So they, they are, they are wonderful. They know me inside out. And they appreciate what God has in me. May God help them in their uh, life endeavor in Jesus' name. I appreciate all those who have one way or the other contributed to my success in life. May the Lord God reward them accordingly and richly in Jesus' name. I say I want to thank God for my wife, my jewel. We are always together, people see us together. At the time while I was posted to the north, she was at home. People were saying, how could I go? And uh, the Lord strengthened her, strengthened me, kept us from all evils, all temptations, and uh, that to me, is what uh, what uh, showing God's uh, gratitude to. We, we, we just want to thank God, for God kept us even till today as a family. The enemy had not gotten a way into our life, and we not, in Jesus' name. 